Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have learned about the global for each navigation guard. And also we have seen about the different ways how this global navigation guard is implemented. So now in this video, we will see about the another one that is global resolve guard. So this one is also very much important, not important. So this is nothing but it's not an uh, navigation guard. So it's a resolve guard. What I will, I will tell you. You can register a global guard with uh, before resolve also. This is similar to before each guard only because it triggers on any every navigation. But resolve guards are called right before the navigation is confirmed. So when this before navigation is each navigation is confirmed, then only this resolve guard will be called. So now, <clears throat> now how uh, from where we can use this? So in which scenario we can use this resolve guard? So it is an ideal spot to fetch the data or any other operation operations that you want to avoid doing it. User cannot enter a page. So before entering the uh, before entering into the any page. So ideal solution for this one. So whenever, for example, let's say that in our scenario, only, in our example only, let's say we are having a post data. So what we are trying to do in this post view, whenever we are trying, we are moving it to slash articles. So when we are moving it from home to slash articles, so let's make it as a written true. Uh, this before each thing, so it is actually blocking us. So I will true, I will pass next of true so that all the time before each. Uh, what I can say that will be passed. So now we are able to see in this home. So we are able to see home page, about page, and post page. Whenever I am trying to call this post page, okay. Whenever I am trying to call this articles page, so what I am trying to do here. So we are entering into the navigation that means we are entering into the component and afterwards for after some time we are calling this uh, what I can say page post for example let's say that we are having a set timeout I am having a set timeout set timeout of this page 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 post sorry and it will wait for something around three seconds let's say now what will happen so here if I pass to the home page and if I go to the post page, see a empty blank screen is there. After some time we are able to get the page post. So that means we are entering into the component and afterwards we are getting the data. So now it will be better that first to find the data, first get the data, whatever the data you want, get the data. Then afterwards after getting the data, you move into this navigation or otherwise you move into this routing. If you do this type of scenario, then it will be better, right? So it will be better. And uh, the user also cannot get panic that, oh, why this page is not loading is something has happened here. So something he cannot think it like that. So when we get the data only, we'll move it. So in this type of scenarios, so we can use this global resolve guard before resolve guard. How we can use this before resolve guard is in the main.js, let's assume. So here I am having this so router, router dot before resolve. So we are having this before resolve and it will have only one parameter that is two. So from pro to where it is going and here instead of calling this one. So what I can do is so here. So this is the fetch post is there, right? So I can take this entire code not entire code. So this I can take this entire code and I can paste it in this one. So now all the time I should not call it right. So we are having a white means I need to keep a sync. So all the time I should not call it. So this code uh, what I can say is the code the which we are trying to fetch it and we are doing so we should not call it all this time so then what we can do here so i can check with the two dot path or otherwise you can use includes or otherwise we can use two dot path is equal to is equal to slash articles if slash articles is there okay so then if if this path is slash articles then only you need to call this one and we should not store it in the app await response.json so what we need to do here somehow we need to send the data here to this component so right now there will be no fetch post and all this there is no need to call it in the unmounted thing somehow we need to send this data to the post dot value so how we can send it right now normally one scenario is you can when you use the state management pattern or store concept like pini or vuex so you can store it in the data here but right now we do we have we haven't learned about this pini or vuex thing so we have an another option not another option just for the time being i am showing you so we can use this app that provide so we can provide it to all the application right to all the application provide and inject so i will use this one so i will use this post data okay so this is the not way right way so but in order to pass the data whatever the concepts that we have learned up to now so i am using those concepts 
Afterwards, we will use the state management after this router and we will learn some more concepts. Now I am providing this one in the post data. So when this unmounted is there, so now here I can by the time. So when we this unmounted is coming, so we can get the data. So inject of post data. So we can inject that one in the post data. That's it. That's it. Finish. So there is no need for you to call this fetch post and all those things. Now, before entering into the road, if it is an articles means then automatically. So this will not stop the navigation or anything. Just it will uh, do some action or anything when you are returning from one thing to another thing. So that is the thing. And you can also cancel the navigation also. So when you want to do the return false and all those things, it will cancel the navigation. Otherwise, if you do a return through, through error or something like that, you can cancel the navigation. So that is not a thing. But when this this one, when it is called is when before each and incomparent navigation got and the route navigation got all are resolved, then only this before result is called. I will show you this one, how the before resolve, when this before resolve will call, but I'm trying to show you. So now I can send you, the, I can send this data. Now what will happen? Let's see what will happen. So we, let's say that uh, we have this 2000 thing, right? We will call this auth access also. Okay. So that we can have some time We'll send this to, okay. And I will wait for this one. Okay, wait. So we have some two seconds of time so that now it needs to wait until this, this promise is resolved. So if I go to the home page, now I am going to the post page. If I, if I click on the post page, see, I am not going to the post page. It is waiting until this data is retrieved. So when this data is retrieved only, if I go to the home page and if I refresh this page, fine. When I go to the post page, see, it is waiting until in the before resolve, we got the data. So when it gets the data, then only it will move back to the, uh, what I can say, the post articles page. So this is how the before resolve got is used. So you can say that we can use it in the before each god also, right? We can use it in the before each god also. But when we are learning next, we will be having some more navigation gods also in this one. So we can write in the route navigation or otherwise we can write it in the incomplete navigation god. God like this, we can write so many navigation gods. We don't know until all the gods or all the conditions are satisfied or completed. Then only afterwards only this before resolve is uh, executed. If you want to return false means automatically the navigation will be cancelled in the before resolve god also. So this is what about the before resolve got. So if you try to see in angular or anything, so there also you'll be able to see the resolver. So in the same scenario, this before resolve got also will be there. So this is the about the resolve got. Now I will commit this code in this video hyphen 63. So this is video hyphen 63. I am committing this code for resolve got. So this is the resolve got and I will commit this code. So whenever you have a doubts or anything, so when you, whenever you are having any doubts, so you can refer to my github uh, link i will provide it here the link and the github link is provided in the description below if you have doubts you can go to here and also i have committed this code right every every branch of every video whatever the video i am doing i will be committing in a separate branch so whenever you have a doubt in a particular video you can go to that particular branch and you can check this code so hope you understood about this resolver god if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.